welcome to ACD Combatives, your combatives and control tactics channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Guys, Coach Kurt. So this is a field training uh, channel as well as control tactics. So you've noticed I popped up a few gun reviews. And that's because this is also a field training channel. Uh, I get uh, number one of the, one of the number one questions I get from new trainees, not laterals, but new trainees when I'm field training them, is what do you recommend for a backup gun? So, guys, these are all the guns that I own that I have used as backup guns. The only thing you're going to see here that's uh, that I don't actually own anymore is a, a J frame or small five shot revolver. When I was uh, 97, when I started law enforcement. That's what I carried as a backup gun, primarily a revolver. This is a training model, and this is uh, for control tactics. This is the LCR, uh, or I'm sorry, the, yeah, the LCR, Ruger LCR. And this is a great gun as far as revolvers go. I actually tend to lean towards the J-Frames, Revolver, Smith & Wesson. There's Colts, they make good guns, but guys, my favorite, the gun I carried for years as a backup gun was the Smith & Wesson model 640, which is a through stainless steel uh, 357 38 option, hammerless. And I had an LCR for a little bit, and I actually didn't like the trigger on it, but it's a good pistol. But it's got a weird trigger. But uh, you want to find out about the revolver, go ahead and uh, look it up on YouTube. There's a lot of channels that talk about guns. This is just more of gun review versus for backup guns, not so much stats and all that crap you guys do your own research everything here is a nine millimeter except for the revolvers which is the 38 through seven and then i get about bottom right there is the uh, lcp max which is a ruger 380 and i threw a training um can of pepper spray there so you can see just how small these little bastards are this is a 10 round 380 i carried a, an lc uh, p2 which is the six round i think it's six or it's eight I think it's six. And that's what I carried for years as a backup gun. Not years, about, a, about two years. And then I felt guilty and went back to a 9mm or a 40 because I usually carry the same caliber as what I'm carrying at the time. And in the past, I carried a Glock 27 because my primary gun was a Glock 22, which is a 40 caliber. We'll talk a little bit about that. But generally speaking, what we got here, top left is a Glock 26. That's what I currently carry as a backup gun. Just below it, facing the other direction, is a Glock 43. That's what I 90, 80 to 90 percent of the time carry as an everyday off-duty carry. Top right is the only, uh, well, as far as pistols go. Well, it's not the only one. It's because uh, there's the Ruger. I've got a, um, a P365, which is a Sig. Guys, Sig sold their soul to Satan to make this gun. It's just a terrific gun. I used to be, it used to be my everyday carry and my backup gun, and maybe I'll talk why I switched back to a Glock. It's not because it's necessarily better, it's just uh, comfort, because I carry Glocks most of my adult life for duty pistols. But let's get on with this. This is just a quick overview from above. Oh, and I forgot to mention the 43X. That's also a stock 10 round magazine, uh, so we'll compare why that isn't as good in my opinion is the 26 again oh guys this is all my opinion i'm just some dude on the internet so you uh you figure it out you talk to your own ftos you talk to your own uh you know senior officers and deputies what have you and you get some advice from the gun guys in your world in your life this is just generalizations and why i do what i do take it with a grain of salt let's get on with this all right guys through the remainder of this you're not going to see my ugly face except for my uh, ugly chin but I wanted to hit this angle so you could see the guns better. So, starting with the beginning of my career. Again, I did not have, I do not own a revolver anymore. This is a mock-up of the LCR. It's a training gun for control tactics. Um, generally speaking, and this is generic, any Ruger, Colt, Smith & Wesson, I mean, your Rugers uh, make stainless steel, the security one, uh, 101s, or the uh, Ruger LCRs. Any one of those guns is going to be good. The LCR is the super lightweight uh, polymer slash um, 
I'm not sure what metal they use. I think it's a stainless steel uh, cylinder. Um, if I remember off the top of my head, I will put the stats up on the screen. It's a terrific gun, super lightweight. The shortcomings of a revolver is you only get five rounds. Statistically speaking, you will go your entire law enforcement career without ever having to use your firearm. I used my primary firearm once in my career for self-defense. Once. And that was because some crappy shitbag meth head released three pit bulls on me and I was forced to shoot the lead pit bull. The other two, thankfully, Dee Dee Maud ran away. So, you go your entire career without using your gun and be blessed and thankful that that's the truth. So, just statistically speaking, I cannot talk, statistically speaking, you will never need your backup gun. But Murphy's Law suggests in the Army, Army math, one is none and two is one, you should always have a backup gun. You may never need it, but you should have it. Um, that's uh, the wisdom of an FTO with 23, 24 years on the job. I highly recommend that you carry a backup gun. But don't just grab anything. Choose wisely. Revolver is a super safe choice. It, uh, it will go bang when you pull the trigger 99.999% of the time. But then most modern semi-autos, same thing, especially uh, Ruger, or I'm sorry, Glocks, and you know I'm a Glock guy. But let's compare this to size with the Glock 26, what I'm carrying right now as a primary duty gun, uh, for, or I'm sorry, backup gun. Uh, I do not carry this off-duty. It's very blocky, just like the 17 is basically the Glock 17, Glock 29 that's been chopped down. And as you can see, it's pretty comparison to size and thickness with the advantage of 10 rounds. Now, why did I choose the 26 and not like some the 43, which I have carried as a backup gun in the past, and the 43X, and again, I'll pop those up on the screen soon. Um, why didn't I choose those? Well, let's pop up the 23 or the 43 now. You can see that it's thinner. It's about the same profile, but it's thinner. It's a single stack, only six rounds. I chose the 26 because the 26 takes the exact same magazines as my primary duty weapon. So it's strictly a uh, just keep it simple, stupid. Only one kind of magazine that, that will accept every gun that's on my person. That just, that's combat smart. That's something you want to do. But you don't have to. I mean, again, what did I say before? Statistically speaking, you'll never need your backup gun. That being said, read the book, Onion Fields, or The Onion Fields. It's a perfect example of when a police officer didn't have a backup gun, and he sure wishes he had it after the fact. I won't get into the book. I did a whole breakdown of the book or the incident elsewhere on my channel. Look it up. So the 26 is what I carry now. You could get away with carrying this off duty perfectly great. It's, I used to, for years, I carried the 27, which is the 40 caliber variant. Perfectly good. And again, guys, I don't know if I, I said it already, but all these guns have been safe, safely checked off camera. Nothing on my table is loaded. Now, there are going to be some magazines that you see with ammunition in them, but I'm not going to cycle the slides. So, uh, the 43, the next popular choice for a backup gun everyday carry. It comes, and this is a standard 43 magazine, six rounds, and this is with the pinky extension. It's not a, a magazine extension. It's just six rounds with a pinky extension. What I have in the gun is the Shield Arms nine round magazine, and I have one right here. They're both loaded. This one here is the Shield Arms. It's steel. And you want to put in your magazine, or mate, or I'm sorry, your slide release, um, or I'm sorry, your magazine release button. You want to replace that with a steel one, so you have steel and steel versus steel and polymer. That's the only big difference. And you can get nine round magazines, and then they also make twelve round, fifteen round, uh, like extensions and stuff like that. You can totally do that, uh, but depending on what state you're in, you can't get it anymore. But this is nine rounds. And that's what I have in my 43. My 43 is my everyday carry off duty. I carry a 9 round with one in the chamber, so 10 round is in the gun. And I usually carry 2 to 4 9 round magazines off duty. Depending on where I'm going and what I'm doing. So, super light, easy to have a bunch of these on duty. And we'll comp or off duty. I'll compare it to the SIG P365 because that's another super popular one. But as you can see, the magazines are pretty much the same size. There's a little bit of a, 
uh, size difference with the shield arms, but not much. So you get a lot bang for your buck for the 9-round magazine. So the 43X, and this is a good example of a 43X, although I have the spring or the uh, streamlight uh, flashlight on it. Um, super little, super good little gun. Basically, you've got the length of a Glock 19, but you have the barrel length and slide length and thickness of the standard 43. As you can see, they're, they're identical. Matter of fact, you can swap them. The difference is, is this is a 10-round, this comes stock with a 10-round magazine. Now, again, shields, shield arms to the rescue. You see the magazine release catch is steel, and I've replaced it with 15-round magazine. So basically, I've got a Glock 19 capacity gun here. This is a great off-duty gun, if that's what you choose it for. And this would be a great on-duty gun, or on-duty backup gun, too. But it's a little long. Just something to take in consideration. Um, it's a good gun. A lot of people are carrying these for backup guns or off-duty. A lot of people are still carrying the 43. This is my, like I said, my everyday carry off-duty. The only reason I don't carry the 26 off-duty is because it's thicker. Again, I think I already did the comparison. It's just thicker. It's hard to see in video, but you can definitely tell the difference in real life. But, and one thing I do with all my guns is I, I, I swap out better sights than they come with. You can see the uh, everything is a big dot, either the excess or some variation of that. Now, here's the one that a lot of people love, the SIG P365. I still swap this in as an off-duty carry sometimes. Now, and I've got the uh, XS, X, SX big dot sights on this one. It comes Right out of the box, out of all the guns on this table, the SIG P365 is like the best. Comes with everything you need, and you don't have to do anything with it. It comes with 10-round magazines. You can get 12 or 12 rounds and 15 rounds. Here's a 15-round. So a lot of times I'll carry this with a 10-round magazine in it, one in the chamber, so there's 11 rounds, and I'll carry two 15 rounds. And like if I'm going some place where I want to even go lighter than the 43, and they're almost identical in size and weight. But, guys, it's, I'm a Glock guy, so I carry the 43 most of the time. Now, there's people that I've heard that used to carry the P365 and they got rid of it because they were Glock people as well and went back to the 43. I didn't go back to the 43 because, just because it was a Glock. Um, it just, well, I, I, I guess I did. I guess I went back to the Glock 43 just because it was a Glock. But not because, oh, there's an angle of... Uh, you know, pointing angle different, it handles different, it feels a little different. Guys, your fundamentals should be solid, that you should be able to pick up any gun. I can pick up this gun, shoot it just as well as the 43. Now, the 43, in my opinion, is a softer shooting gun. That's my opinion. The SIG P365 is a little snappier. But, man, this, it's like, I think SIGs sold their soul to Satan to come up with this gun, to get 10 rounds into this magazine. They literally made the perfect magazine basically a Shields Arm magazine, but by SIG, for the P-35 and built the gun around the magazine. It was genius. And now you've got the Hellcat and there's other 10 to 11 to 12 round magazine guns. I mean, it's like it's all the Vogue. It's super easy to get. Um, to make the 43 as good, you're going to have to get your own off-duty, your, your own sights. Again, the P-35 comes with perfectly good night sights. I only chose to upgrade it with the the excess big dots because I just love these sights so much. But that's the only thing I've done to that gun. The P3, the 43, which I carry, knowing that I was going to dump more money into it, guys, I put the excess big dot sight, or some variation. Those actually are not excess big dots, but super nice, big, bright front sight. Plus, I had to change the magazine release button to metal to match the SIG arms, or I'm sorry, not SIG arms, uh, shield arm ma uh, magazines. So to get this to where I wanted it to be, I had to dump more money into it. You can totally carry it out of the box, six round magazines, but it seems a little light. These are all nine millimeters now. The one that is the oddball out, and yes, I carried it for a while as a backup gun on duty, not this particular one. This is the uh, LCP Max, which is a 10 round 
magazine. It's the Ruger. I actually traded in my Glock 42 for this because, guys, I sincerely believe this is a better gun than the Glock 42. That's the Glock 42 is a 380. This is a 380. Again, I would never carry anything less than a 380. Um, I prefer carrying 9 millimeters. I have this 380 because you got to have at least one 380, right? Carry this as a backup gun, the regular LCP anyway, for years. And it's so smooth. This is a true pocket gun. Even the LCR, uh, I'm sorry, the LCP Max, how they managed to keep it almost identical in width is just crazy. It's just, guys, if you haven't put the LCP Max versus the regular LCP 2 in your hands, you'll be surprised. And here's the 12 round magazine. 10 round. Guys, if you don't care that it's not a 9mm, this is just a terrific little backup gun. Would highly recommend this gun if you're into a 380. Again, I prefer having nothing less than the same caliber I carry as my primary gun, and that's 9mm. But if you're going to go to battle, and you know you're going to battle, bring a rifle, right? We already discussed that in other videos. And uh, again, this is not a gun channel. This is a martial arts control tactics channel, generally speaking, but it's also an FTEP channel. And this is why I address this. It's just, I get this question so much from my new trainees. But to go back to what I carry right now is my backup gun, my bug. Glock 26, and like I said previously, man, you just can't, I carry this in my outer vest, uh, it's a zipper outer vest, so it's just right there, I can zip it down and get to it, um, so the extra thickness doesn't really bother me, combat, the combat, practical, tactical aspect of carrying it is that it takes the exact same magazines as my primary gun, now it's going to, they're going to stick out a little further, so you've got to be careful not to push with your pinky because you can disrupt the round from chambering and then you'll have a, it will uh, not cycle well. So I, when you, when I fire this thing in practice, see how I got my pinky out? I don't do that normally with my normal weapons. I do that so I'm not pushing pressure down on the magazine. That's just conscious training thing I do for that reason with this pistol. Guys, that's why I carry this, but off duty, 90% of the time, I carry the 43, and maybe 10% of the time, I carry the um, SIG P365. Just love this gun. <laughs> Just a neat gun. But I'm such a Glock guy for so many years, including being a Glock armor, which is super easy to do, guys. It's an eight-hour class. I just know and shoot Glocks so often that I just gravitated back to the 43. But, again... The big difference was, is I had to add love to this to get it to where I wanted it to be with this shield arms magazines and the, the better off, uh, better backup sites. That's the kind of crap I had to do to it to get it where I wanted it to. Did I have to? No. It's just, you know, I, if you're going to go to a gunfight, you want to go with as much gun as possible. I mean, rounds as you can comfortably carry off duty without being tactical silly. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Please uh, maybe comment what kind of gun you like for your everyday carry or backup gun. Tell me if any of these guns are the ones you chose to carry or if you have any more questions about one. This is not me pushing one over the other. It's just me explaining them. Um, I have other guns, but these are the small everyday carry backup gun types that, that are important. Um, it's not important for me to show you duty weapons because that's going to be something your, your agency likely will issue you a duty weapon or they have a list of weapons that are approved. So I carry the 17 because that's what is issued. I'm not allowed, even allowed to uh, carry my own uh, personal weapon on duty as a regular standard sidearm. If I had to choose, if I had the opportunity to choose my own sidearm, I'd go with the Glock 45 instead of the Glock 17, but it's semantics. Guys, I shoot that 17. It's a Gen 5 17. I shoot it super well. Anyway, like, subscribe, sh and share. Hit the bell icon and everybody take care, stay safe. Let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out.